Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all have a great day and awesome day also as well. And today we're gonna continue to tell some double lands episode 4 part 1. So let's get started. Alright. Let's begin episode 4. The darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes discover the unfinished, top secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components gave the former middle manager the chance to quiet the region accord with the demented ghost of Hyperion past. The dream of the vault seemed closer than ever. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare, and this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the Borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as a last surviving man on the gladiator's murder bucket list. The con artist said nothing as the gladiator prepared to take her revenge. Lucky for him, it was that moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie, and their first job was likely to be their last. Find shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's mm. let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. Let's see. I am. Memory. It looks familiar, but I I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. Me too. Endless march down memory he wants a vault to towards me. Must be paid back. I don't. Oh, I don't push the time. I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose him. I don't know. What's he gonna do? Huh? Don't do some anything stupid, <sighs> Reese. Don't, don't be stupid. He has a gun. So. He clearly needs us for something. If he wanted to shoot us, he already would have. I think all those shots to the head are taking their toll. That has to help me. I'm making a break for it. You should too. Remember, zigzag when you run, okay? Head up. Makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid, it's it's genius. Alright. Going on three. One. Two. Stay put, stay put. Go! <laughs> That's a weird way to run. He's zigzagging. It apparently makes him harder to hit. Of course. What the hell was that? I don't know. Meteor shower. Get to the shelter. Whoa. That's pretty creepy. That was close. It was, wasn't it? Oh. What's that? Uh, this again. Clearly, I can't trust you two. But I didn't even run. And that's why you're still conscious. So, you just gave away Gordas. 
She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. Hmm. I hate you. Vaughn? Vaughn! Shut up. What? Hey. Don't touch Sasha! Stop it! Please! Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone. Don't do trust no. her. Don't trust her, Gordis. Oh, don't listen to her. She's just being sore. Besides, if you don't tell me, I have to start hurting people again. And you don't want that, do you? No! Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe. Only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. Mm. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the vault and hold it here, and you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well... That's some exciting news. Thank you, Gordis. I don't trust yeah. you. You're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. Fiona. Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. Is this about Athena? Don't you dare don't touch her. her. Let's leave her alone. You can't blame yourself, Athena. Where did they take Athena? It seems Lilith and the Crimson Maiders have some questions for her. For what? Your friend has a long list of heinous things she has to answer for. <gasps> Enough about yeah. Athena. Yeah. Let's talk about what you and your friends... Hey! Hey, what are you doing with Wrong! Him? There's no need for guns. I've come to strike an accord. A what? What are the terms? It's rather simple, really. I turn over this Hyperion number cruncher, and you allow me to return to my work unharmed. I knew we couldn't trust you. Yeah. That's all you want? Yeah. I, I wish Athena got to kill you. Oh, you made that very clear, young lady. Very clear. You've got a deal. Ah, all right, all right. Then I shall make my deal. They will remember this. I suspected you would. Fine! You all right? Ah, uh, I've been better. Now listen up. Under normal circumstances, <gasps> your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists in a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. Hmm. <laughs> what do you say? Why would we you help it, you? The only right answer is yes. Yeah. Hell no. There's no way we're working for you. Yeah. Please, just, just leave him alone. I'm glad we were able to work this out. Patch up the nerd. Don't want him bleeding out on us. Oh, great. Getting dragged away some more. Vaughn. I should be getting used to this by now. <clears throat> Don't you dare Son. touch me. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. 
Let's get cracked. <sighs> I hate you. I hate all of you. Pavan. I didn't. It's not possible. We can't do this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. What's One going way or another, on? We're gonna figure out how to pull this off. Okay, let's start with how we're Everybody get there. just oh, calm gosh, down. This isn't Everyone the first time we've had to get down, creative. Okay? Thank you. Alright guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've gotta to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordus's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <clears throat> Sorry. Without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. <laughs> I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you stop being so negative, maybe we can. How's your tongue tongue there, buddy? That'll teach you to hit the taco truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna happen. Wow, we'll you got the magic, kid. Could use your help. Call it weak sauce. And that's why we have to drill down on Actually, every aspect I could use your help. Yeah, of course you could. I'm not the one Is that a yes a or no? What? You think old Jack would leave his meat buddy hanging? I. Honestly, don't reality. know how to answer That's that. So listen, I hate to be the bearer of good news no, here, but if there's one thing that you know about me, it's that I'm a collector of my rival's top secret projects. Okay, That's why I'm going to share this juicy little tidbit with you. Once Fine. upon a time, a few of my guys just put it out an Atlas shipment that contained parts for one of their top secret projects. I know you love hearing yourself yammer on, but just spit it out, will you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just Do a I... second. Seriously, please. All right, I'm back. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> no one's ever told me the truth before. Thank you. Thanks for your honesty. I really appreciate it, man. You're welcome. Yeah, what I'm saying is this. I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're going to do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Yeah. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Shut up. Guys, we can actually do this. What are you talking about? The beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? I do. See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We got a winner! I'm sending Reed to location data now. Hmm. <laughs> See what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. That whole sector must be crawling with guards. Give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. Man. How many people you gotta... I get that you're scared. The I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great. Sign me up. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Teamwork. That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. Mm. Behold! Helios. Okay. Now how do we get there? Oh, well, Helios is in space, so we need a spaceship, obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him anytime. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss. <laughs> I love him. Yeah. And then it's off to Helios. Pandora, we have lift off. Before we dock, I'll tell Yvette we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Now the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. At ease, soldier. Mm. Then I'll disable the security system. Ah, 
that'll work. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll... <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. Mm. And for the grand finale, oh, did you struck to vast skies? Love mm. Reese. But Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually. Maybe work. Maybe, so, yeah. I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So, how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Oh. Um... Don't tell him, princess. You'll sabotage the whole freaking mission. Uh... It just came out of nowhere. Don't do it. I still People remember only make five. things way worse. Well, it took me a minute to search my memory files, but boom! What do you know? It was right there all along. Huh. Sounds... Technology. Gotta love it. Reese, there's something you need to get off your chest. We're listening. You gotta admit, it was pretty weird when you passed out after we left the security office. What we're saying is that even if we could figure out a way to undertake this mission, we need to know you're a hundred percent. Which you're clearly not. We're worried about Don't you. worry. <laughs> you don't need to worry about me, okay? I know Helios like the back of my hand. I really want to tell them about handsome Jack, but he doesn't right, allow so me. I don't want I to keep them the secrets. Only Vaughn knows that handsome Jack is, exists. All right, Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. I really don't like you. I really don't. I'm glad Sasha dumps you. The scooter! August. Watch Gordas. I'll miss you. Oh, miss you Just too. Hurry up. I don't like being alone with this thing. <gasps> but I like you so much. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh, he. Hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Because he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. I hope he doesn't. What he did to the Safford clan? He's a pretty jolly guy for someone who just buried another man alive. Now, Scooter's a solid guy. He's not gonna hold a tiny little con against us. I guess he does seem to like us. Yeah, maybe. Hopefully. It's my two favorite gals. Uh... Good to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the race? I know you sure like going fast, haha. <laughs> Wait, great no, to I'm see you like too. Scooter, great to see you. Just an absolute pleasure. Every time I get to see your face, just <laughs> go on. <laughs> now nah, you don't have to go on. I know my face is about as appealing as a dead dog. Somebody whacked a few times with a tire iron till it's <laughs> But anyway, it's great to see you. Well, what thank I you. Uh... I'm not saying that I don't want to do you or nothing. That, no. It's well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't either. Uh, one of you like open your mouths and make We are going like, to space. Fine. Scooter, we are going to space. What? 
I love spice. It's like my fourth favorite thing behind tacos, trucks, and heavy eye contact. That all sounds great. Only problem is funding. Oh, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, when I said my man, I love Skoda. I meant that there were two. Because oh. look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines, but rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe, but she's uh, she's a little out of sorts. Oh no. Jenny's been like that since she heard about some big bald hunter fight what happened out in the country. Nina ain't checked in for a while. She put two and two together. She ain't much in the mood to do rocket mm. stuff. Maybe you should talk to her, Fee. I'm the last one who saw Athena, right? Yeah. Hello. Hi, Janie. Hi, hat girl. She said it was just an easy protection job. As if anything's ever easy out here. I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I heard the two of you talking. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I'm sure she didn't mean it. Know. I know she was protecting you, but why? She said it wouldn't be dangerous. She said she was saving our lives. Valerie's goons would have killed us if not for Athena. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield. I've never seen anyone so much as Leia. She Athena. was saving me. She was saving my life. Valerie threw two Vault Hunters and her entire gang at Athena, but she held them Thank off. Hey, She only surrendered to stop them from killing me. Your girlfriend is a hero. Yeah, <laughs> she did. I know. Ha ha ha. This is kind of awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them. What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on. You just got I just want to know one last thing. And then I'll see about the rocket. Did she say anything about me before they took her? The way she acted, sometimes I didn't even know if she liked She said me. she loves she you. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I... Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, wow. Young lady, you are going to have yourself a rocket. Oh, thank you. Once I'm done building it, I'm going to grab every gun I can carry. I'm going to drive out of here. I'm going to rescue my girlfriend and I'm going to marry the piss out of her. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo. But beyond that, you want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh, man. That sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into spice and all that. But you've already done. Deal. Okay, I heard one of y'all say deal, so let's go with that. Whoa! Up top, spice buddies! <sighs> hey, I'd rather deal with him for a few hours than be stranded up there with a busted engine. Yeah, I guess. I... <laughs> Fiona was talking her way into a rocket caravan. I was going to meet up with Wallet Head. So I think I will cut it here for now. So this is was Tales from the Bowlands, episode four. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you at part two. Bye!